I'd like to introduce to you guys Travis. He's the head of our uh, SEO team, SEO department. Um, I'm not going to speak too much for him. You know, I'll let him introduce himself. And you know, we have a great meeting for all of you today, uh, in regards to the new platform that we have, um, the new way that we're going to do sales support, which is really cool. We're going to explain all that, um, and it's just going to be really exciting. Um, a really exciting meeting. So, Travis, take over, man, and let's rock and roll. Great. Thanks, Tom. All right. So what I wanted to go over in this meeting is I kind of want to talk a little bit about more of our philosophy of um, SEO and then a little bit more um, around what we do and uh, kind of the new dashboard that we're showing um, for clients. So we'll just go through this. Okay, so how does SEO work really? Is we really do follow the, the Google guidelines and they've released out this uh, EAT principle um, being expertise, authority, and trust. And those are the type of clients that uh, show up on the top of the search. So definitely, you know, your expertise is, is you've got to be the expert um, in the field. So if you're a uh, pest control in Houston, Texas, you need to have information that shows that you're the expert. And also you need to be the authority on that. So um, creating great content um, around relevant topics um, about what you do is a great way to show authority. And of course you have to have trust. Google has to trust you. And one way to do that is of course, having a, a HTTPS site, having you know, contact info that matches uh, local citations that really show you that you're a real business. So we really do try to follow these guidelines um, in order to help the customers rank higher. So really our solution is uh, split up into these six different areas. And so we definitely do site audits. We wanna make sure there's no major technical issues, content issues, anything with our site to prevent them from ranking. We do wanna do some, we do some pretty intensive keyword research to make sure we're ranking for keywords that'll actually drive them traffic and drive them customers. Um, we develop content strategies around those keywords to really support that and to really drive those rankings for those keywords. A content strategy translates to on-site blogging and guest articles. Uh, we really are heavy on content. We definitely wanna write a lot of on-site content to help you establish that you're an expert and authority. Um, we write guest articles that show that uh, other sites trust you and that Google should trust you as well to help you show up and give you authority as well. And then we do a lot of local citations to help you build trust, um, which, is a, which is a key indicator in helping them show up in the Google Maps section. So those are kind of the main focus areas that we uh, focus on to help um, clients rank. So what is our advantage? Um, we, have white, we have great reporting uh, for the clients. It's branded for each agency. Um, easy, it's one click login, easy for them to log in and see what's going on. And I'll share a little bit about what we share with them. We have expertise. We have a team of experts on the side that are in the back end supporting all of your customers. We have better communication. So within the reporting app, we have um, a communication or a messaging system that allows customers to interact quickly with us and we can respond quickly um, as well. And it's cost effective. The whole technology behind this platform um, allows us to automate a lot of that workflow and reporting that helps save us money so that we can actually put more money into what helps the clients rank. And then I wanna talk a little bit about, okay, what happens after that sale? Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the cost the customer onboarding and how efficient and smooth it is. First thing that we, would happen once we enter in a client is the client will get a welcome email and it'll basically take them to the reporting and I'll show that to you um, to go in and just fill an online questionnaire. You know, can we make changes to your website? Do you have a preference on type of content we write? What's your, you know, basic information about your company? Once we get that information, it hits our keyword team and they get another email through the system but ask them to approve these type of keywords that uh, we did research on. A lot of them know their business better than we do. And so they might have ideas um, of other different keywords. And then we'll some be, there could be some back and forth to kind of show them our data of why we chose those keywords and why it would be beneficial for them. And then, they'll, then after they approve that, they'll get another email and we'll have this content roadmap of topics that we're gonna build out over the next six to 12 months that'll help drive uh, the EAT principles, the authority, expertise, and uh, trust. 
And that's pretty much the onboarding. And then the, everything starts to work after that. So it's super easy, simple flow through to the clients. And then there's a high level of the customer dashboard features. You know, we just talked about kind of that easy onboarding um, with the client dashboard. We talked a little bit about the messaging app and the work summary. And I'll show a little bit more details into those. So this is the uh, question, part of the questionnaire that they'll receive um, when they sign up as a customer. You can see it's gonna be branded up in the corner. Um, we're asking basic information about their site, business listing, we'll ask about content, about website details, things like that. So we'll get all the information that we need to really start on their account. And then we have the work summary is we really wanna show them exactly what's going on. Um, probably the number one complaint a lot of clients have is what's going on? What have you done for me? What are you doing for me lately? And what are you gonna do for me? So here's an easy way for them to come in and see exactly what we're gonna do what we're gonna write for them. They can see topics. And if we need to make adjustments, we can make adjustments based on the client's needs. And then we talked a little bit about the in-app communication. So it's an easy way for your customers to uh, contact us and let us know if there's any questions, if they have any concerns, if they just wanna let us know they're do we're doing a great job. Um, it's an easy way for us to communicate back and forth. And then of course we show the main thing that we want to do for them is get their keywords to rank higher. And so we'll show them a variety of primary keywords and halo keywords that we're uh, targeting um, to help them rank um, higher just to, to get more clients. And then we talk a little bit about the sales support is we do have some sales support when you contact us. Um, we can put together a simple, it's a simple three page uh, proposal, it's nothing, it's not a 12 page long, you know, this is what SEO is, but this is basically a three simple that says, hey, this is what we're going to do for you. Here's some ideas of some packages that we can offer them. And uh, that's about it. And then we also have, um, if you want to contact us, if you want us to jump on a Zoom call or a phone call with some clients, if they have some questions that are um, a little bit more technical or you need some little bit of help, we are happy to jump on those calls and help with that as well. And that is it, Tom. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, this is, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Some of you already have um, sold um, SEO and are on the new platform. Um, I know Kim's on it. And I think, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think Kim's on it. I think she's the only one on the call here that is on it. But we have a lot of uh, partners that, um, that are not on this call, obviously, uh, that could make it that... Uh, are using the service, but the, the main, I think that the strongest point here really is having a, a dashboard where um, you're going to get an email, the client gets an email, and then the client gets to go in there and fill out all their information, which is pretty awesome. And you got, it, it takes a lot of the work out of your end. Um, and also all the questions that they might have, you know, um, they don't have to contact you and ask you questions about search engine optimization. Um, and then it comes to the support team and then we have to respond to it. And it goes back to you. Now you have this platform where it, you have direct contact. Your clients have direct contact um, with the SEO team. And if you have any questions, they get right back to you. Um, I think it's um, really streamlined. It's a lot more efficient um, than we're doing things. It's a major upgrade here for 2021. Uh, as you know, those of you that have been with us for a long time, that's most everyone that's on this call here. Um, you guys know that we're always pushing the envelope when it comes to technology, uh, streamlining services, making things really easy for you, bringing out the best possible services. Um, so, you know, again, so you guys can, you know, help the small business, right? The most important thing, um, the most important topic that, or subject that I can touch on here is that um, every, every service that Rocket Driver offers, it, it always has to benefit the business, right? Um, every service that we offer, it has to make an impact on that business. It has to make an impact on their online presence. Um, it's all based on the modern customer journey, right? That funnel that these clients go down. Um, we don't have any services here at Rocket Driver that are just to make money. What's great about search engine optimization is that um, it's, it's one of the key foundational ingredients, right? Um, to help a business with their online presence. It's, it's just, um, just a really one of the top services um, that we offer. And 
what, what's great about it, you make a lot of money also, right? There are, the, the margins are, are, are huge for the agencies. Um, and the next thing that we've changed, if you remember with, our, with the sales support that we had before, it was kind of like we gave you a private number and you made a phone call, then we would get on the phone with you now. We have a dedicated email address um, that it, we posted already in the Rocket Driver um, Partner Portal. And um, I'll show you where it is in a second. And that you guys just will email the sales support team. You need to give them at least two or three hours notice, right? And we'll do whatever you want us to do on that call. If you want us to get on a Zoom call, you want us to get on a regular phone call. But um, our um, sales support team is there um, to really, um, you know, really there to help you guys, you know, um, transition, right? Get that client, get that client from um, point A to point B, right? Educating them um, on the actual service, going through whatever, whatever it is that you feel. And, and, and that's really where the, where the email comes in. When you email and, you know, just kind of, you, you have to give them information. Let me just, um, let me take over here really quickly. I'll bring up the, um, the back end here. Hold on a second. It's right in the search engine optimization, right? In the back end. And then you go to um, sales support. Um, so you go to step one and it's just kind of giving you an insight on exactly what, what we need from you. You know, we want you at least speak to the client, you know, talk to them. Don't send someone over that has like no idea about what we're going to talk about. You know, it, it's, it's imperative that you guys at least um, talk to the client, you know, run reports. You know, we have those reports, uh, you know, go through that, the, the, the online presence report that we have, you know, show them that, hey, they have an issue. Um, explain to them that you're going to uh, schedule a call with an SEO specialist. And then that way, what we'll do is, you know, we'll get on the call. And what we, what we always like to do is we like to, you know, we like to ask a lot of questions. We like to educate them, strategize with them. But most importantly, um, set their expectations. It's really important to do that because SEO is one of those things. It's an investment. It takes time. They're not going to get on the first page of Google their first month, second month, you know, maybe even third um, or fourth. We don't know. You know, every business is different um, in terms of the competitiveness of it, the location that they're in. Um, there's a lot going on um, in terms of us, um, you know, working behind the scenes um, and, and trying to push you know, as hard as we possibly can, um, and get them to the to the top. Right, is what we're what we're, what, we're um, what our main goal is. To book a meeting, all you have to do um, is send an email to our uh, SEO team, and uh, we need at least two or three hours lead time. You know, after you sent them a meeting, so we can uh, do that Zoom call or get on the phone with you. And all you need to provide really um, in the email is the company's name. Uh, your client or prospect's name, their website URL, and just let us know um, where you're at in the sales process. I mean, it's really streamlined, simple. We're closing 33% of everyone that we talk to. Uh, it's a great service. doesn't cost you guys anything extra. It's free, and it's all about helping you grow your agency. That's why we're here, right, to help you build your business and scale. The other thing that we did is we added um, a lot of new services uh, again, a lot. Everything that we did is all about um, SEO, right? So the blog posts. So if you go to back up here um, to the actual packages that we've created, um, our team they'll they'll they're they're going to speak to your client, and then what we're going to do is create a proposal. We'll know exactly based on the information they provided or that you provided, right, to the SEO team what package will benefit that business the most. Remember, none of our packages are etched in stone um, here that we have. We just put these basic packages, you know, here first, right, um, to help to guide you. But um, we don't have that one size fits all type of uh, mentality. So that is the reason why we've um, added all of these other services here. And they're all SEO based. Everything that we did is all about search engine optimization, all these blog posts, these guest articles. So what we can do for those of you that have a lot of experience in search engine optimization, um, we could actually build out a campaign, a customized campaign um, for a client. 
Um, Travis, are you there? We have a question here from Kim and you can answer this. Are we using AI? Um, yeah, we are not using AI. We actually, well, other than the people are our AI. <laughs> so we have a real person that's um, helping come up with the strategy and the topics that we're going to write about. Yeah, this is what, what, what we're doing is white hat SEO. This is like, um, you know, we, we're doing everything by the book. And, and that's the only way you can't cut corners with, with search engine optimization. You have to do it by the book. And that's what we have um, here at Rocket Driver. Do you guys have any other questions um, for us in regards to anything? I mean, this is a, this is a quick meeting. This is not one of those um, long drawn out meetings that we have sometimes, you know, Travis um, basically went over everything with you. We'll, we'll be posting um, the actual um, vid on YouTube for you guys. Um, I can answer that last question. Can you overdo SEO? You, go ahead, Gad, you can answer it. Yeah. So in a way you can, if you're going to, if you're going to go and spam out tons of links for a client right off to the bat, um, Google's going to flag that and see that you're, that it's, that it's fake and it's not real. So you want to make sure, uh, SEO is kind of a, you want to space it out long-term, keep it going. And in that aspect, you can't overdo it. Um, as long as it looks as natural as possible. It was a pleasure having all of you here on this partner meeting. Travis, thank you so much for all of your input here. And uh, everyone, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Take care.